Hello and welcome back, I am Offer of Mercy and this is episode 316 of our Call of Warhammer beginning of the End Times campaign for Wizardland. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment and subscribe if you enjoying that year content and then really subscribe by pressing that little bell notification so you're notified every single time my content goes live. We're going to get underway with our review of what happened last time so we are going a whole lot of nowhere because we... Had a little scrap here at um, Tol Talavayam. What happened here was we did our usual, to be honest. We actually, it was quite a smooth battle. The, interestingly, they uh, kind of just avoided these two, but we'll get into that after we get our, um, after we describe how we set our um, troops up. So first up, we did what we usually do. We had our um, frontline artillery, so we had Hellblast of the Gun, Empire Great Cannon, Gold Wizards, and then we had them flanked by the Nun Guards and the Empire Handgunners. Behind those we had our, directly behind those we had our Leopold um, Leopard Company. And flanking those we also had the Empire Swordsmen and the Halberdiers. We also had the Great Swords um, out to our left flank. so that they, And we used them to wrap around slightly. Um, interestingly, let's finish off, like, let's finish off um, what we were doing though. We had our Huntsmen on the walls, because they've got the furthest range out of these two. We had these behind our melee line. Uh, we had our Pistoliers to the left and our Knights to the left as well, who we both wrapped around behind the enemy to get some shots into them and then proceed to get some charges and then later, a bit later, not, not too long, far later, some um, hammer and anvil tactics really, really helped us win the battle and minimise our losses. The, interestingly, though, like I was saying, they kind of avoided the Leopold Leopard Company. They did try slightly to engage them, but then what they then did is they kind of split in the middle. We had them, our strongest units, which our strongest line units, which were our Leopold's company dudes, in the middle, and they just kind of kind of engaged them, but then they pulled out, and then both just went left and right and created two blobs of troops um, where our um, Empire Swordsmen and Empire Halberdiers were and obviously our Great Swords as well. So that was quite... I was like, hey, that's, that's, that's a smart thing from like the AI that. I was like, the past couple episodes have been like, this AI is losing its marbles, isn't it? It's, it's like, it's losing its, losing its thing. And um, the fact that it did that was like... Just like I don't know, it was like a, a mind thing, like a, 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 a just a, what, what can I say? It was just mind-blowing, like the AI that I figured, let's not go into the big pike units, which have got the best holding ability in the in the universe, or the game, um, rather. Um, let's attack a weaker, maybe more attack diverse, but let's blow up on the units that have got less holding ability. It was just like really smart to me because he, he probably knew I wasn't going to move these to engage them because they're strongest when they're in defense mode, when they're in a in able guard mode and just sta just stack static, just static. Not when they're putting down the pikes and then trying to stab people. It's just not 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 where it's at. It's that really impressed me, but they it only goes so far, right? They didn't have any cavalry to occupy me, so my cavalry just got some big hammer and anvil charges going off into the back of their units, and free hammer and anvil charges as well. Like there was no like mitigating factors once we'd like wheeled, got away around the um, their ranged units. Once we got around them, they, we we just went into the back of them and they would know what they could do. We got massive amounts of damage, and it, it was just a wrap to be honest. Obviously, we had some. We had the initial shooting phase, like usual. Um, Gold Wizards did um, a number. Hellblast of Oligon did a number. Non Great Cannon, I don't think did a great deal, but it, it was fine. Don't matter uh, because we didn't lose all that much either. We're just doing retraining here, just retraining our geezers on who needs it, then get ready to move out. We're also recruiting two more of these Leopold Leopard Company so that we can use them. Um, is our front line. So the other thing that we're going to be doing is get another great sword unit. Because what we're going to do is we're going to leave behind 
these two geezers right here. And then we're going to use our greatsword units. How they're meant to be using used, and that is a flanking shock uh, unit because, as you can see, they've got a seven attack, and then we have ten. Um, and they've got a seven charge bonus with a, a, an attack of ten, which is really good. I uh, need to get rid of that. So, but that is the, pretty much our review. So I will carry on with the episode but I'm just going to get a quick cut here and set my stuff to do not disturb so I don't get any notifications right and let's get underway okay okay um did we leave it on an end term we left it yeah, and you need to get a gun you little let's keep the ableism to a minimum shall it um, right, so, oh dear, this is going to be painful. Okay, how many turns? Two turns. A lot of orcs, arachnid rocks, giants, yeah. Love it. Who are you? Mm. Goblins, goblin More orcs coming towards floating village. Let's stove in a few heads. There's not better than a pile of gold. Wait a second. Did I is anyone here? Gold? Yes, there is. Forward, sons of Sigmar! Just having more attack them again. Just for the memes, I guess. Is that chevron stuff? No. Can't be chevron stuff. It's got to be heavy armor then. Wait. Go away. Why is it not letting me know what the next upgrade is for them? Doesn't it usually let me know. Pretty sure it's cure us though. Either way. Bing, bing, bing. Bing. Well, I'll upgrade our halberdiers first. What are they upgrading? I don't know. Maybe there's some kind of global thing going on. Either way. We'll just, we'll just upgrade him. We'll just upgrade him. We'll just upgrade him. Let's just upgrade everybody. Why not? Let's go mental. 360. It's gotta be... It's gotta be Chevron stuff, hasn't it? It makes pretty little sense if it's not. Uh, so what am I doing? I have four. I'm getting five. I have four. Two. Two. Let's get another two of those then. Pistol ears are probably the next line, but I probably want outriders. It means more micro, but they are better. They are better than I give, than our good friends. Victory is assured. I will survey the battle from a new position. Speak them out slightly. We shall rout the scum from the field. Fight for the Get in there. Can I retrain you? I can retrain them. But I can't retrain these. There is bloody work right. to be done this day. Your Let's move up. Let's Sigma, move them back in. I mean, that's fine, right? It's fine. Fine. There must be some global thing that's going on. Or something. The darkness shall not defeat us. Why do I have a ship with the line here? We stand ready to fight. We shall prevail. It shall be... The faithful shall prosper. Sure, I guess. Yeah, whatever. I don't know what... 
that's about, to be honest. Van Crump's Buccaneers. Pretty cool dudes. I still want to take all these rebel settlements down here, but I'll probably do that once I've got these guys, these two armies, like, free. It'll be, a t it'll be difficult to take these two, these lot of settlements down here because of how, how, um, what do you call it, oh, how I like, entrenched these places are. Entrenched, is that the right word? Might not be. It might be. Uh, I think we've got a defence somewhere that we need to take care of. Definitely need to get... Yeah, because I'll be working on military buildings here very nicely. Yep. Are we, we're at war with the Ogre Kingdoms. We're at war with... We're going to be at war with the Ogre Kingdoms in our... Um, Orcs and Goblins campaign as well soon. We basically give them Nagashizar um, by failing <laughs> failing our siege. We run out of time and yeah, we run out of time. Sag. Sag days. But we'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. 800. Let's just do that. I want to see... I want to see. I want to see what it is. It must be Chevron stuff, though. Let's get some more Thunderers. I like the Thunderers. Protect our lands. Guard our people. Probably don't need all of these. How many have I got? Yes. Six Frontliners. Orders. Your Majesty. Yes. Four to flank. Yes. Two sets Orders. of calves. The Emperor rewards the bravest. Your Four mind. marksmen. Two cannons. Sigma wills it. Our cause is just, my lord. Thinking that maybe I can drop two of these. Yes. Maybe drop the Rico's Republican Guard. Your Get two more. Get one more Rico. And have like Jonah Adam or Valmia Knis, maybe? Like, move out? Let's get a great sword bodyguard unit. Maybe. Is that a good idea? I'd, I'd like the idea. I like the idea of using these. I like the idea of using these because they're so a stake, right? Okay, let's get it right. They, they're just so. a stake. They just, they just look so cool. No two ways about it, is there? Two Volan Venerators. Can I mi can I micro two sets of Volan Venerators? And to general unit. Boris Knis. 17. We'll recall about She's been around for a, a day or two. Still young though. I just like the idea. It's a waste of money in it, but it's flights of answer. I think I'm just gonna do it. Are these any good? Are duelists any good? Does anybody know if duelists are any good? I don't. I've never really like used them. To be fair, these are fair. These are okay. I think they're about. They think they're just a bit better than the Empire Swordsman, aren't they? Actually, they might be a fair bit better than the Empire Swordsman. That attack's beautiful. They are correspondingly more expensive, though. Let's get some. Let's get some of these guys. Eight and eight. I hope you can upgrade the armor on the duelists. Because if you can... This eight... And this will become like a 10 or an 11. That'll make them a very good, like, skirmishing unit that I'd really like to use. You. We await your command. 
I'm just gonna move him up here. Because everyone's gonna have to pass through there, so let's do that. Any yes, so there's Grudge Bringer dudes. Grudge Bringer. The cavalry's not worth it. About the infantry. Ten and sixteen. Pretty good. It's pretty good. Eight and nine. Cannon's just a standard cannon, unfortunately. I think it should be a dwarf cannon. If we read the um, thing, I think the um, I think if you get the just with the name Grudgebringer, you think it's a wait. This machine fires heavy cannonballs, which can tear through enemy regiments and light buildings with ease. But it's progressively more inaccurate the further it fires. Its enormously long range is only equaled by orc rock robbers but it requires line of sight to its target as the cannonball is fired in a very shallow arc. Armour is useless against hits from a cannon. Ah. So this... This is actually meant to... Oh, so this is a range... Like a ultra range cannon. Because the old, old rod lovers can fire far. Let's be honest. They fire far. Black Avengers, they're not very good. I'm not gonna lie, the Black Avengers are not. They're not hot. I can't retrain. Can I retrain them and get some stuff? Let's see. I don't think you can, though. I don't, on, you know, like units like that, you can improve the attack, but you can't improve their defense, which is upsetting. Pretty upsetting, to be honest. Uh, Pizarro's Lost Legion is always a pipeman unit, which is quite nice. I like them. I like pipeman units. Right then. So, let's go do with that defense then, shall we? Where. There will be no respite while one foe draws What's breath. this geezer doing? The gods have granted this day to earn our glory! Sure. Get your oh. ready, boys. I know what I'm gonna do with you then. The Empire will prevail. Move you there. Dog off, stupid. This has special units, right? This has mages and everything. This is a big population centre. What can I I can't get a full range of stuff here. Not yet at least. Still waiting on some things. Yep. One more turn, stables. So that's then, that's then, that's then another six turns after that for the next stable unit. Where are you? Large stables, five, eleven turns until that. So we won't be getting a cavalry from there anytime soon. But high elf archers. Their range is brilliant, and they're very good. Marienburg guards. Conform spear wall. Nice. Mm hmm. Nice, nice. Hmm. Okay. These are just good. Like the elf main, just the elf main units are just brilliant. Marienburg archers. They are very good. They look like Robin Hood. If you don't know what Robin Hood is, I, you're either so young or, or I just feel I sorry for your childhood. Before. But it is a very British thing. So if you've not heard of it and you're not from, like. I don't know, Spain or France or something, it makes sense. You might have heard him in brief passing as like a, f a folk tale or something as part of the Crusades. If you ever learn about the Crusades in school. Right then. We shall prevail. This army there is bloody work to be done this, this army day. can move on. So Sigma, grant us victory. I am needed over there. Protect our land! Gonna maintain that siege. The enemy will pay with their blood. We'll deal with that in a bit. We'll deal with that in Only just a second. Oh, we're getting attacked to Betrafen. Okay. 
Right. Is that all we've got in for Millie? It's a bit scary. Can't be taking charges from these guys then. Defeat is impossible. Let's get into it. Hmm. Hopefully we have some more AI moments. So I'm just gonna get a quick save here and then I'll see you on that here battle map. Right then, let's get underway with the battle. Got it. Who is this? This is I almost forget his name. Hmm. What is his name? Get lined up. Right in front of that door. I hate to miss some of these guys, that's it weird, they're getting here. Get on my nerves. I need to have some of these on the walls because I can't protect them all with three units of melee, unfortunately. As much as I'd love to. It's just I don't I just don't think it's possible. Have them all grouped up as well. Move them there as well. Move them out of the way. Archers. You. To you. Line one then. Yeah, that's fine. Um, come on. Please be nice to me. Come on. Come on. There we go. Right. Oh, first time. Love it. Uh, no one's left behind from the looks of it. How's your angle going to be? I think it's going to be fine. I think it'll do. It'll do enough. It'll be enough. Um, group four. Turn that off. Turn that on. Group three. Turn that on. Group one. Turn that on. Then put explosive on our great cannon. Do we only have one of them? Yeah, we do. Unfortunate. So let's move these. Hey, we can move that really far forward. Alright, to battle. Pause. Pause and pause. Is that far enough or is that too far? Maybe too far. I want to use this as like a flat, as a thing to protect my flank. Um, we'll have the seventy on this side though. Nope. There we go. <sighs> yeah, we'll do that. Uh, let's then pause and pause. I'm gonna group my things. Move them there, get them out of the way. General. That could be that could be bad. That could be bad. Melee. Yeah, you see what I mean I can't I can't protect them all. I can barely protect I can I can't even protect all the ones I've got. These will be like really just I'll move them up. But they'll be like directly under. Actually, I can, what I can do is I can start them a bit closer to this. No, I can't. It's not letting me stretch them. Okay. Be like that. Get on my nerves, though. We'll do that. And then... Stretch this unit there. Good five. We need you to get up... They are fast. I'm gonna get a. I'm gonna get a charge on someone. I need a charge on someone. Uh. I want to charge on the big ones, but I don't think it's the correct thing to do, to be honest. Can you hit? 
You can hit from there. That's brilliant. And we can move forward. Let's move these to the sides as well. Did you move forward? You did. Move back. I'm gonna get a charge on those guys. Just keep advancing. Fire who you can. I don't care about you. You're not in the position I want you to be in. It's fine. Let's watch this. Nice charge, son. That's a decent charge, let's pull out though, quickly. Damn it then. I lost one. Let's move our dudes back as well. Yeah, let them chase you. General, they're going to be chasing us now, so let's move back. Let's fire that. Pause quickly. So let's put that on that. You we can move back. You can't actually advance. They're gonna wipe my cannons. I, I thought it was a old biggin unit, not an old bow biggins. I thought I'd have more time. Damn it. Oh, okay. Can I? Yeah, you position yourself up there. You. Pull back. Actually, you can stay for a tad longer, can't you? I need you, I need group five to move in towards the back. It's going to be difficult. Good one. Pull back. Okay, pull back these. Just going to all run him. Okay, they're moving for our general, aren't they? Yes, they are. Let's get that going over there then. Scary geezers. Okay. Hit them, hit them, hit them. You. Right. How many is them? Sit with their big ones. No, I want you to go for the ball boys. Can you aim? No, maybe. Probably need it though. I'm gonna have to move these two out. I'm gonna move them out here. Turn that on a bit. Right, my general's moving north. How did they get caught? Damn it, what were you doing then? Trying to cut me off or something? Just turn around, Scorpio. 
We need these guys to. You need to actually charge them. We don't want to be letting any of these guys get away. Right, let's pause. So, I'm gonna unpause them. Oh yes, we've these we've got actually prime prime time shooting position right now, aren't we? Yes, we do. You get in there. You too. Let's form you up here and turn that on. Uh, I don't mean to do that. I need to drag me all there. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's prime. That's beautiful. That. I'll let them fire at who they want now, and I'll let I'll make them carry on firing. You can fire at you. You can fire at what you want. You need to be running. Running where? Not entirely sure. My general's still preoccupying. Yeah, he's getting preoccupied and he's preoccupying a unit of their biggins, their ball boy biggins. Scary dudes. Yeah, just stick with him. You go for them. General, come on here. I want you to actually charge it then. I don't want to let any of the units that are routing to get any such... Get away, in any way. Let's move these a bit closer, in fact. I want you running. Pause that. Yeah, we want to keep the pressure on. We want to keep the pressure on these guys. These are a worry, no doubt. But if we can deal with the majority of the other forces, just by us... Need you to run. Need them to run. Shooting at him. General. The ball boys are still chasing us down, which is fine. How are you doing? Yeah, just get him, get him. You charge the big ones. Just chase up big. Lead our um, their general over there. Got another. Oh, he's rallied quite quickly. Which is perfectly fine to do. These guys are running, this is perfectly fine. I'm gonna have you turn around and go for the have a pistol pistol unit turn around and go for the big ones now. Oh, they've ra they've ra rallied. So we'll just have them shoot him instead. In fact, shoot the big ones. The ball boy big ones, I mean, not the big ones. Let's have you turn in, General. This could be close. I'll have you Angle in. Oh, they're they're routing again. Chase them. You get gem gone as well. Have a general angle in towards our melee line now. We've got a clear. We've got a clear five shot straight into them, haven't we? You shoot them. They're rallying. Whatever they're doing. Keep it going. You're not in range. That's fine. Let's move you closer then. Let's move them both closer. They're routing now. It's perfectly fine. I need to change angle. Because they've apparently got to charge them. Go for the old boys. Form up. You go for them. If you've got still got a shot left, I want you to go and fire at them, Bobby. I'm getting stuck on a rock. I'm getting stuck on a rock. These are nearly out of ammo now. You need to charge at them so they don't get into. Oh, no man. You don't need to charge them. You can form up in front of our battle line. So if you turn around again, have a sip of my um, energy drink. That was unwanted. Go 
Uh, now we have our pistol air unit after we pulled Matt from the engaging the ball while he begins. We don't want to make them go and chase them down. Chase down the other units. So if you just run through our lines. How about general get get back to safety behind our lines now? Right. Looking perfectly fine, I think. You. There's only one you're allowed to fire at. Just keep mopping up the units that are available to us. Need to move these guys forward. It's all good. Clout. I don't want to get my pistol years caught. Pull them back. Just pull them in. There's no point doing that. Oh, let's turn that off. Turn that off. Pull them back into the battle line. Just keep shooting there, General. Who are these got all oh, the goblins? They like little like lice or something running across the um plane of field, don't they? Plane of fire. Let's pull these back. Get shots on them. Yeah, these are gonna step out in towards the terminal. Oh, he's routing. Good stuff, that. I'm happy about that. I'm getting routed or whatever. Who's left? Or a single unit of Oak Biggins, which is perfectly fine with me. You can go for the general. You can get a big charge on that Oak Biggin unit. Are they within your range? They are within your range. Which is fine, but I don't want you to fire them. Why has it gone like a box again? Let's get this general out of here. I feel like this was a very controlled battle on our part this time round. Really, I thought it was going to be a bit of a struggle, but I think my micros was... Pretty on point. General Agga was pretty on point this time round, which is nice to, to you know feel. Yikes! I said that. I say that, don't I? I say that, and then they just get melted. I just get caught. Nice. Some goblins left. Can barely see them through the grass. Just splitting around the rock, forming back up. Oh. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yep, keep it going. There is a unit somewhere. There we go. Get him gone. Six times it. Are they still alive? No, haven't got to them yet. Actually, we can catch up in time. I doubt it. Go. Beautiful. B E A U T I F U L. Only that is. I'm very. I am very happy with that battle.
That is a actually. That is actually really good battle from me. That, that was. Oops, I just hit my wire on my mic. I don't know if you heard that. Um, that was. I am actually really happy with that. I don't think I could have done much more. I, mean, I don't think I, I don't think I could have done much more. Yes, I could have. In fact, I could have saved my artillery. Other, but other than that, I think I played this battle really well. I'm really happy with it. Let's have a look at the like the damage and stuff. What we've done fairly even across the board. To be fair, say so yeah, huntsman we 140 is pretty good. No guards 102. I'm guessing they got a lot when say I moved them up onto the slope. They just could shoot into the line, so that might be a thing that we can do um, in other defenses on Jaffa if they're coming down. They have uh, the coming down from um, Grand Peak anymore. That was very good. Um, managed to keep my general out of combat, tying up one of their um, Hawk Ball Biggins, which is okay. I don't really like doing it, but it, it's something you have to do because you can't really engage the Hawk Ball Biggins unless you um, get a free charge on them. Or oh, got some Volans Venerators, I guess. Um, archers, doing well. Hand gunners, 73. I mean, yeah, that's fine. They were very clutch where they needed to be. Cannons, did its, did its, did its part. Hell, but I like them. Yeah, again, beautiful stuff. 100 from the Empire hand gunners here, though. Yeah, that's beautiful. Did we get any exploding captures? Nope, not there. No, not there. That's a shame. That is a shame. Yeah. The big captures are obviously our pistol ears, though. Loved it. That was I was very I was I'm very happy with that battle. So I'm gonna give that a quick continue and then I will see you on that here campaign map. Welcome to the campaign map. We're obviously gonna try and get that money out of him. We're obviously gonna be get rejected. Either way. We'll get all the retrainings that we can. Recruitment. Um Definitely Huntsmen are a, 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 a real asset. The range on them alone, that, that extra shot, that extra two shots that they can get off is just very beneficial. And that's why these are so good. And why, say, the crossbowmen are very good, because the, the range on them is brilliant. Like the Tillian Marksmen and whatnot are all good as well. Right, so. We've set things in motion here. This will get... Two. That gives a four. It gives a front four of Rico's Republican Guard. Um, three. We're waiting on probably on five turns for that, which is fine. Two. I want. What's the range on the duelists? Does anybody know? Is it not very far? He didn't like the long range. They're only pistol shooters, aren't they? Hmm. He's still like a big. So do we know if he's like a big um shock infantry troop available that we can get? Oh, that is not the great swords. Maybe, Mike. I don't know. Is there? No, it's another thing. Ombres. No. Hmm. Yeah, like um, I don't know. What would you call it? Like a sh an infant, a shock infantry troop. I don't know. That we can get, that'd be like... It's basically like a, the Leopold's Leopard Company and stuff, where you can get them, but... It's like a... A, a mercenary, it's what word I'm trying to think of. A mercenary unit. That's available at... I mean, there's the Huskals up here, right? That we can get. Well, we can't get them yet, but... That we might be able to get. Obviously, there's like giants and shit up here. If we feel like that. What happens if you capture any Illustria? Do you get like some Lizardy men? Or, like if you capture some Helven places? I don't know. Is there any. I don't know. 
Is there any... Hmm. It's the dwarves, I guess. They're quite... the dwarf axes, I mean. Where are they? 11 in 11, that's pretty decent, but at that point I might as well just get some... I might as well just get some thingies, Anna. What do you call them? Great swords. Yeah, is there any like units? That I've got big, very shock, a big shock value that I can get. Like if I ca if I capture correct Kadrin, do I get? Is it possible that I can get um, slayers? Maybe that'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. Where to, sir? I wonder if that's um, possible to code in. You know, if you like, can get if you captured like certain settlements, like correct Kadrin. I mean, you've got to be annex. You can. They've already got like a uh, Hermdorf with these and there's also the Dwarven districts and stuff like that. But if it's like a unit specific, like correct, if you, for correct Kajun is probably the best example where it's the Slayer home, right? Could you get like Slayers from it if you capture it, but or liberate it rather? If you don't, not if you take, not if you're at war with the Dwarves. But if you take it from like say the the dwarf, the chaos dwarves, and you liberate it that way. Could you then get? Is there a better way to code that? Maybe. Be an interesting if statement, I guess. Probably won't be that complex for an if statement, but it's whether the game would allow that kind of um, thing. Sire, approaching. I seek a worthier foe. Yeah, I don't know if the game would allow that kind of thing. Either way. Victory Either way. Is assured. That is where we're going to end it for today. So, thank you for joining me once again. I am Offer of Mercia, and this has been episode 16 of our Call of Warhammer beginning of the End Times campaign for Wizardland. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe if you're enjoying that content. And then really subscribe by pressing the little bell notification so you're notified every single time my content goes live. Thank you. Signing off.